I saw a couple methods earlier to enter and exit your base without using a door in Sons of the Force, because many people are afraid of cannibals, of course, entering your base. But they literally gave me a headache. So in this video, I'm going to share some pretty powerful ways, even hacks, to get not only you, but also your companions and even resources through walls very quickly by using makeshift locks, zip lines, and even chairs. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoy my content. It helps out the channel a lot, you have no idea. And of course, share in the comments down below what you think is the most epic way to get in and out of your base. All right, so here we are at the base location. I just prepared a little wall right here. So it's gonna be a lot easier to show you guys how to set up every single method to quickly get in and out of your base. So anyways, for the very first one, we're gonna create a very basic door. And I hear you already thinking out loud, the cannibals can enter these, but don't you worry about that. We're gonna lock up the place. There you go, Kelvin. So what you're gonna do is first place a couple of these bad boys to make yourself a door. So right now we can walk through it and this will bring us inside the build so we can go in and out while everybody can use this door. So that's not a good thing. We want to prevent the cannibals from entering at all times. So what you're going to do is take yourself two more locks and then you're going to place one of those right next to the entrance. You don't want to snap it onto the original wall, but we're just going to place it a little bit more to the side, exactly right here. If we stand right here and place a bee, exactly like so well this is basically how you block the door so nothing can enter you won't be able to exit the place either but if you want to you can just pick up the lock again and voila you will remove the lock on the door so you can just place it exactly like so if you hold it you can even place it from the inside if you look at the corner so if we place it like that you will be able to open and close the door of course, you don't want to be stuck with the lock in your hand. So what you can do is when you enter the place is just look to the corner once again and just place the lock exactly like so. So you will basically have it ready on the side. Honestly, though, there are much better ways to get inside your base without having to even use a door. And some of them can even be used by your companions, which are pretty overpowered. But let's start off with a filled up wall design. So the first and probably most convenient way to easily get over it is by placing a rope on front. So this basically allows you to climb it and get to the other side with ease by just using one item. While right now it's not possible to get to the other side. So a quick fix for that would be to basically place ropes on both sides to use one to get in while you're going to use the other one to get out. If you jump a couple times though, it is possible to place extra support on your wall. So then you can place another one right on top of it. So you will basically have this design. We're going to place one more beam to easier reach the top. And then we're going to take out our rope and simply hang it on this side. So this could be an alternative way of climbing in. And personally, I think it looks a lot better. Gotta be awesome to construct watchtowers. Well, if you want to set it up for both sides, you're going to have to go with a design like this one. Well, trust me, there are even easier ways to set this up. So if you've got a couple of half locks, the simplest way to get inside your base is just place one of those right in front of them. And then you can basically use this one even if carrying locks to jump over it. You can place another one wherever you want inside your base by just going both ways. Just jump over the wall. Gonna be super budget friendly, especially if you still don't have any ropes. But I use this one for my base design as well to prevent walking through traps and very quickly hop from one place to another. It saves you a lot of time by not having to climb the rope, let's say. And it's super cheap to set up. Of course, if you have a slightly higher wall or even spikes on top of it, what you can also do is take out different sized locks as if you place a couple of them right next to each other, you can basically jump from one to the next. And this would also be your way to get inside your base. This one is 100% cannibal proof as well. While I don't think everybody wants to do a jump puzzle before entering and exiting their base, but worry not, there are even simpler ways to get in and out of your base. So I'm just gonna take a couple locks right here and we're gonna place one of these bad boys right here while on the other side, 
to get inside of our base, we're going to place one at this very location. It's very important to set this up before you fill up the wall, as what we're going to do right now is take out a real gun. We're going to reload it and we're going to place one on this side, exactly right here. Height really doesn't matter that much, but we're going to do another one exactly at this place. So right now we have a reel which leads in and out of our base. Every time when you jump, you cancel the effect, but you can tell that we're literally flying through the wall. So if we take two more locks right here, we can just use this method to enter our base without a problem, as it will clip through the wall without any issues, without taking any damage or whatsoever. <laughs> What's pretty overpowered about this method is that you can even use it to bring locks in and out of your base, as they literally teleport through the wall. I don't think this is very intended, but just use it while you can, as this might probably get patched in the future. And if you were wondering if this technique also worked for defensive walls, trust me, it does. It's pretty overpowered, but it does the job. So definitely useful if you want to transport locks through your base with a 100% safe method. Unfortunately, this powerful technique cannot be used by your companions. I mean, I've never seen them gliding zip lines. Do let me know in the comments down below, though, if you've already encountered this event. But probably one of my hands down favorite ways to get in and out of your base is by just placing a stick chair right in front of it. Trust me, guys, this one is wonderful. You're going to be surprised when it's finished. So right now we've got a chair to sit on. Very nice, beautiful weather as well. But uh, with all seriousness, this is not what the magic trick is. Basically, if you're standing on the other side of the wall, look close enough, then you can press and hold the chair to basically teleport to the other side. So yes, this is pretty overpowered. And the crazy thing is your companions can even use it to clip through walls. Right here, you can see that Kelvin used it right after I did when I entered my base. So if you've set this up for both directions, you can basically hop in and out of your base by just clipping through the wall and also pretty easy on the resources. You don't have to focus on the zip line, ropes or anything else. Especially for the defensive walls, I think these are so tedious to get through as we clearly don't have those gates. But trust me, ladies and gentlemen, this will make it so much easier to get to both sides of the walls. You don't need windows or anything else. Just a simple setup with two chairs does the job and the placement really doesn't matter. Just make sure you place them right from the get-go as you cannot get your resources back if you need to deconstruct them. Uh, yeah, it seems like Kelvin agrees. He always does this weird thing with his eyes, man. So yeah, there you have it. Different ways of entering and exiting your base without a problem. Very easy and simple to set up. From rope combinations to using simple stamps, which are very easy on your budget. But I think the hands down easiest way to get in and out of your base is by simply placing a chair to wherever you want to teleport. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, a big thanks for watching. Please do leave a like if you found this video useful. It helps out the channel big time. You have no idea. And of course, leave in the comments down below what you your favorite method is of entering and exiting your base. My base tour and guide on how to set it up can be found in the top right of the screen if you want to thrive on the island and automatically farm both animals and cannibals. Right now though, it is 4am out. I want to wish you an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.